Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Ben from blogwithben.com and welcome to this tutorial slash review on Elegant Themes brand new opt-in plugin, Bloom. Now for those of you who aren't familiar with Elegant Themes, they are a premium WordPress theme developer, but recently they've branched out and they've begun to develop premium WordPress plugins, Bloom being their most recent one. And uh, I, th I think they rolled it out a couple weeks ago, but I recently just got my hands on it. I had a chance to implement it in my blog, and I absolutely love it. I love every single thing about this plugin, and I wanted to create a video to show you kind of a behind-the-scenes look at some of the features and the capabilities that come with uh, the Bloom opt-in plugin. Now, before I found Bloom, I was basically just using a sidebar widget opt-in form, but since using Bloom, it's not only changed the landscape and the layout on my blog aesthetically, but it really has restructured how I implement my list building strategy as well. Honestly, I, I really don't see myself using any other type of opt-in form, and I, I think it's one of the best ones on the market right now. So, like I said, that's, that's why I wanted to make this video and share it with you guys. So, with that being said, let's take a closer look at Elegant Themes' new opt-in plugin, Bloom. First things first, how do you get your hands on Bloom? Well, Bloom is available to download by joining Elegant Themes Membership Club. Now, I've been a member of Elegant Themes for a little over a year now, shameless plug, but um, you know, I, I really could not be more satisfied with, with everything that they have to offer uh, in terms of price, in terms of the value that they provide, uh, in terms of access that they give you. I, I, it's really unmatched. I really have not found anything... Um, out there that that really contends with with their value and what they have to offer. You know, again, it is a paid service, but that's the only way you're going to access uh, their themes and Bloom. Uh, if you want to have that, you're going to have to join their membership club, which, you know, they are extremely affordable. They have three different plans that really can work for any type of budget. But again, you're going to gain access to all 87 of their themes, as well as all eight of the plugins, Bloom included. Um, they also have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you know if you feel that it's not a good fit for you, uh, you know no problem, just uh, get your money back. But you know I highly recommend I investing a little bit financially, uh, just because you know the free stuff that you can find online. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but that's the same thing that every single person out there, for the majority uh, of people out there, are are using that free stuff. You know. And, you know, you're not going to be setting yourself apart. You're not going to be um, standing out to your readers and to your visitors. You know, by investing a little bit financially into your themes, into your plugins, you're going to be presenting yourself in, in, in a different way. And, again, that's going to grab the attention of the reader and, in, in turn, generate traffic and a, a more loyal following. So, again, I really highly, highly recommend that you check out Elegant Themes and everything that they have to offer. I'm going to put a link below this video if you're watching it in YouTube. That is an affiliate link. You'll get the discounted rate. And also, you can uh, click on the Elegant Themes affiliate links in my blog posts as well to, to gain access to that. But again, highly recommend checking it out. Bloom is available to download by joining Elegant Themes. So with that being said, let's take a closer look at Bloom. All right, so now let's let's uh, go through the process of actually creating an opt-in form and then implementing it into your blog. I want to show you how easy it is to do and how, how powerful this plugin is. So as I previously mentioned, in order to access this plugin, you just have to become a member of Elegant Themes. But remember, by doing that, you're going to have access to all 87 of their premium WordPress themes as well as their plugins and their support staff. I forgot to mention how cool and how good their support system is. You have access to the developers. If you have any type of question whatsoever, they have a great forum where they will get back to you. Every time I've had a question, they've gotten back to me in less than 24 hours, which is great. So really, really uh, good customer support. And again, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So for whatever reason, if it's not a good fit, you can get your money back. All right. Now, so we're in the members area. So once you become a member, you're just going to go down to the plugin downloads. And Bloom happens to be the first one. Click download and click the plugin package link. And then that is going to create the zip file that we're going to upload into our blog. So next step is we're going to go to our WordPress dashboard. We're going to go down to plugins, add new and click on upload plugin. And then this is where we are just going to install the file that we just downloaded. Bloom zip. So it's gonna be a zip file, so just um, keep your eyes open for that. 
Um, obviously, I've already installed this, so I'm not going to install it again, but you'll just double click on the file and click install now. Once you have installed it, you'll get an activate plugin link. Just click on that link and you will um, activate the plugin. Once it is activated, you'll see on the left hand side there will be a Bloom link. You're going to click on the opt in forms and this will take you to the Bloom dashboard. So a couple of things that I really like about this, this dashboard is the fact that you can track the performance of each individual opt-in form. And then also it gives you the ability to split test, uh, which is a very powerful feature. And so you can kind of put two different opt-in forms up against each other and see which one outperforms the other. And obviously the, the one with the highest conversions is going to be the one that you're going to implement into your blog. But again, these are two very powerful features. There are a lot of uh, other really cool things that you can um, you know, you can play around and, and, and check out, but those are, those are two that I, I think are very important to building an email list that really tells me that the developers understand what it takes uh, to build a quality email following. And, uh, they know what it takes to have, uh, a, a, a powerful and converting opt-in form. So really, really cool. But I digress. Let's, let's make a form. So once you're in your bloom dashboard to create a new form, you're just going to click on new opt-in. And then that's going to bring you to the six different opt-in types. For this tutorial, we're just going to be making a pop-up. So select pop-up. This is where you can create a name for your form. And then the form integration. And this is basically where you are setting up, you're linking Bloom with whatever email management system you're affiliated with. Another really cool thing I should add is that if you're affiliated with more than one, you can add more than one to Bloom and you can uh, manage that all in one centralized location, which is a huge time saver, other really cool feature. But I'm with MailChimp, so we're just gonna select that. And then we're gonna select the account. If you're brand new, obviously you're gonna add an account. It's a pretty straightforward process. You just create an, an account name and then copy and paste your API key. If you're not familiar with how to do that, um, if you just click on add account, there is a link right next to it that um, Elegant Themes will walk you through the process. They have a video tutorial on how to access your API key. Pretty straightforward, really simple, but I've already done it. So for this tutorial, we're just gonna go with the blog with Ben account and select the newsletter. Once we're all, we're all set up with our form, we're going to click next. That's gonna bring us to the templates. And as you can see, a lot of really cool cool templates to, to choose from. Um, now, as you'll see in a couple seconds, you're not locked into it to a specific form. You can customize it, tweak it, change the appearance, change the outlay of it. I mean, a lot of really cool customizable features uh, as I'll show you right now. So just select a form, scroll down to the bottom, click next, customize. This is going to bring you to the design option. And um, this is where you can change, you know, your message, your title, the image settings, the, the color, the styling, um, the animation features, a lot of really cool things to play around with. And I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about really quickly. So let's click on preview and give us a quick little preview of what the form is going to look like when it pops up. So I don't know if you noticed, but there's a little animation with, with the image, which is really, really cool. Just it's little features like that that uh, you know, I think really set this apart from a lot of different opt-ins that I've seen. Um, and also, I mean, it looks clean, it looks professional, it looks, it's eye-popping, grabs the reader's attention, doesn't look cheap or trashy, you know, it, it's nothing that makes you wanna automatically click X, <laughs> you know? It's, uh, it draws your attention and it, it, looks, it looks really, really, really good. So, as I mentioned, the animation features, they have a lot of different things you could do here. Like the ta-da, that's a pretty cool one. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of really cool things you could play around with and again very user-friendly very straightforward uh, Not gonna really get into all the specifics of tweaking the form, but you can change the styling the colors the setup You know a lot of different things that, that you can you can do with this So once you have uh, kind of tweaked the form to your liking you're gonna go down to next and this is gonna be the display settings and this is where we can change how the form um obviously is displayed whenever it pops up. So whenever that, that form first pops up, uh, I wanted to do, let's do a swing. And obviously we want, we want a delay. We don't want you to write when you click on the site for that to pop up. But just for this tutorial, let's do five seconds. And what else? 
So we want this just to display on the, the home page. So as you can see, really cool um, feature as well is that you can have it display on everything, on different categories, posts, and then you have the uh, display on, on what type of categories. And really, really cool. Really, really specific features. And, and um, you know, I think it's, again, another reason that it just, it, it they, they're setting the bar pretty high. This is a really, really cool um really cool feature okay cool so we are all set to go so once we have made the the opt-in form we have the display settings we're just going to click save and there we have it so it pops up in the dashboard and we're good to go so let's take a look at it so go down to visit site we'll give it five seconds and there we go perfect i love it <laughs> One more time. So they go to the site. Kind of looking around. Yeah, yeah, it looks cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Huh. Yeah. I think I do want to sign up. So <laughs> really, really cool. I love it. I love Bloom. Love every single thing about it. So hopefully, you know, this gives you a little more insight and a, a, a better idea of what Bloom can do for you. There's another one. <laughs> what Bloom can do for your blog. Um, but again, I love it. Uh, I'm a very satisfied customer and I, I just wanted to kind of share with you guys how easy it is to use and, and how effective it can be in, in building and growing your email list. So as always, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you guys have any questions, concerns, suggestions, anything at all, swing by blogwithben.com. You could shoot me an email there. Would love to hear from you. Also, while you're there, I'd appreciate it if you would sign up for the newsletter you will receive your Blog with Ben starter kit. Also, have access to exclusive content and just stay up to date with everything that's going on with the blog and all the, the video tutorials that way. But uh, be sure to sign up for the newsletter. And then finally, if you're watching this to YouTube, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. Again, this is just another way for us to keep in touch and to stay up to date with all the video tutorials that way. But again, I hope this was helpful. You know, Bloom really has been instrumental in how I build my opt-in forms and also how I implement them and uh, how I convert visitors into you know email followers and, and it really has helped me grow my email list. So I just wanted to make a, a quick blog post and a video and show you uh, how much it's, it's helped me and hopefully it'll help you. So again, look forward to seeing you guys on the blog and uh, I'll see you in the next video.